Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. This week we're going to do something a little different. I decided to see if I can recreate one of these Lego brick lifters out of metal. Alright, so stay tuned. I'll show you how, how I did it. Um, and then hang out till the end and I'll tell you how well it works and I'll give you some footage of how well it works. Alright, stay tuned. Thanks guys. So the Lego brick separator tool is actually a pretty nifty little tool to help you separate Legos that are stuck together. I think it works pretty well across the board except for the pry bar component, but all in all, it's a great little tool and I think if you're not using it, you probably should be. For lack of a better way to get the holes spacing correctly, I just used this other brick lifter tool and I made it into a template. All right, so just using my little forge here to heat up this piece of steel enough so that I can give it a nice little bend. Here I am measuring out how long I need the pins for the brick lifter to be. Unfortunately, I didn't realize that I was doing most of this out of frame, but I'm using another Lego to put my pieces, the little pins we just cut, in so I can get them lined up to the correct depth to get them glued into the brick lifter. All right, here we are at the end. So the pry bar, that works fantastic. The lifter on the back portion, uh, the underneath lifter seems to work pretty well. Uh, the over the top one, not so well. And, I, and this is partly due to the tolerances. Um, I didn't do a good enough job when I was filing and cutting that groove that it's not as tight as it should be. So as you can see, it doesn't really latch right there. But the pry bar works, the under lifter works, so I can still call this a success for now. And in the future, if I decide to make this again, well, I'll be a little bit more careful and try to be a little bit more precise. Here we are at the end. So, what did we learn? We learned that metal is hot, that lining up these little holes is tricky, and that I had a lot of fun doing this and then I think I might have to try something like this again in the future maybe just an EDC pry bar of some sort anyways hey if you like this content you like this type of stuff hit the like hit the bell subscribe do the whole nine yards I don't know what I'm gonna do next and the only way you'll find out what craziness is coming out of this basement is if 
you stick along. So thanks again, and I'm out. The Amateur Hobbyist, cause life's too short for just one hobby. Get ready for exploring, tinkering, and problem solving. Get ready for some hobby fun that's great for everyone.